if you were in the academy, you would learn that this, this is your twin tube, your twin tube atmospheric shock. And because of that, you got an outer tube, an inner tube, you got valving, and you've got an air pocket that's just natural air in here. If you were to invert it, it wouldn't work uh, because the air pocket would go to the top. You've got a little valving at the bottom. It just, it just will not go. A twin tube shock has to be mounted vertical. However, however, like on our JRZ uh, RS Pros, the double adjustables with the remote canister, those are a monotube shock, and the monotube shock we do invert on the back. So the only way you can invert a shock is if it's monotube. That means there's only one tube uh, instead of twin tube. But uh, yeah, if you had monotube, we mount the monotube shocks upside down uh, because we can, and uh, it also it also makes it easier because on those you got the remote canister, and with the with, with the mounted invert inverted, and it's really easy to just take the line and just run it uh, through into the trunk. Uh, so. Yep, there we go. You can invert a monotube, but not a twin tube.